Harold Hansen here with Healing Free Dog School. On this video, you're going to learn how to get your dog to chew on the right things and not on your things. The first thing to do is to limit the amount or the kinds of chew toys, not the amount, but the kinds of chew toys to perhaps two or three. Some people have 15 different things down and the dog doesn't know that the 16th is your brand new shoe, the 17th is your $200 cell phone, and the 18th is your brand new TV remote. So what you want to do is get two different kinds that the dog likes and then you could have a bunch of those. You could have six of each. So you can have 12 or 14 different chew toys down but don't have 12 or 14 different types of chew toys. The other thing to think about is how does the dog know what to chew on and what not to chew on? Your dog comes into your home, there are a lot of things. And how does your dog know, I'm only supposed to chew on this, I'm not supposed to chew on the coffee table, I'm not supposed to chew on the uh, trash can, I'm not supposed to chew on this or that. What you want to do is get your dog's toys and chew bones being really tasty. And the way you can do that is get yourself some gravy or something that tastes real good, maybe some cat food even, and rub it on the toys so your dog thinks, wow, this is great. And then what you can do is you can buy some chew repellent and you can spray the objects that you don't want the dog chewing on. If you have a shoe and your dog's been kind of going after that, you can spray the shoe. Put it down, your dog thinks, oh boy, this tastes awful. My chew toys taste great. I'm going to stick with them. The other thing that you want to be careful about doing is relating to the dog orally. This came up once on a phone call. Somebody called up and said, uh, my dog is uh, chewing on the armrest of our sofa. And uh, she said, that's where my husband sits and puts his arm. And so I asked her, I said, Do you, does your husband play a lot of uh, chew games or uh, tug of war games with the dog? Oh, yes, they love doing that. So here's the dog. The husband goes to work. The dog is thinking, boy, I really miss him, and uh, I wonder if he's around. And the dog is using its nose and thinking, mm hmm, well, I can't. Oh, here's the arm of the sofa. He's not completely here, but his scent is here, and I'm going to relate to that by chewing on it. So be real careful with those chewing tug games, because, again, what that dog is doing is learning to relate to you with its mouth. That's not something we usually want the dog to do. We don't want them biting us or chewing uh, on things that we've uh, touched. So you want to maybe back off on that game. The other thing is to remember, don't be a one-problem trainer. A one-problem trainer is someone who says, my dog is chewing and he's driving me crazy and I don't care about the rest of that stuff. I just want him to stop chewing. Well, just as with housebreaking, as I mentioned on one of the other videos, if your dog doesn't do anything, why would they chew on the right things? If they don't do anything, why would they be housebroken? So what you want to do is teach your dog things that don't seem to matter to chew with chewing. Don't have anything to do with chewing. First one, teach your dog to sit, stay, come when you call, lie down, walk with you without dragging you down the street. Those are the kinds of things that you learn at Healing Free. So what you want to do is you want to teach your dog, here's a foundation of things that we're going to be doing, and then you can put the chewing on top of that, and you can put the housebreaking on that, and you can put the uh, digging. Those are things, again, where you can't say, I'm going to go out and spend 10 minutes teaching my dog not to dig. That's hard, teaching him not to chew. That's hard, too. What you can do, though, is teach him. I'm going to teach him to sit. I'm going to teach him to heal. Then, when you do go to work on those specific problems I mentioned, your dog is going to have a real good foundation for learning those skills. Harold Hansen here with Healing Free Dog School. Check out my website, healingfree, H-E-E-L-I-N-G, free, dot com.